channel I'm here with a, a updated poppin everyday look because everyone's been asking me to do a tutorial on my technically everyday look my everyday look is not necessarily like an everyday look in my eyes but it is my everyday look technically so I'm gonna be doing that but it's going to be updated because I already have a, a like a poppin everyday look on my um on my channel so I did do a few things differently well I do a few things differently now in my everyday look so um yeah I guess that's why it's called updated I need to learn how to just spit it out but anyway I'm also going to be doing just a little chit chat with y'all because I know you guys like when I talk well, I've learned that you guys like when I talk in my video, so I'm going to be doing a little chit chat. Okay, so first I am going to prime my face with the Studio Perfect Photo Loving Primer by NYX or whatever. Um, I'm not going to lie, I'm not really big on primer, which I need to start priming my face. That's why it's like... I bought one by NYX because I love NYX products anyway, but I just bought one by NYX and this has been pretty good for me. So, you know, it's like, I'm like I said, I'm not really big on primer, so, but I know I need it to be honest. So yeah, there's that. But yeah, just let's get into this little chit chat, I guess. Um, I wonder, like, I don't know. It's just something that's been on my mind for like a little while now, just because like, I don't know things change when you start to get more followers on like social media and things like that like as far as how people come at you and you know stuff like that so I don't know it's just a lot of things with social media now it just seems very unauthentic and I know people already think that you know um well social media is unauthentic already well, not in my eyes, because for one, I'm just online, I'm the same person in person, you know what I mean? So it's like, I didn't, you know, make an Instagram or make a Twitter or make Snapchat or any other like Tumblr or anything to try to live a double life, you know, like it's literally me and everything. So I don't know. That's why I always thought of... um social media as like authentic in my eyes but some people may think like oh it's just social media it's everything's fake and things like that mm, not necessarily so so like and also i know like a lot of you guys well i'm letting my my primer set but i know a lot of you guys want to say well you have a lot of followers like why are you talking about social media and things like that it's like just because i have a lot of followers doesn't mean that i can't talk about things like that it's just some things that go on on social media is just like it's just like I think to me it's unnecessary like I know a lot of people do the things that I'm going to talk about and that's cool if you want to do that that's on you but in my opinion I would never you know do anything like that so I'm going to put um my foundation on CoverGirl True Blend I know you guys see me use this this is like my go-to foundation but the covergirl true blend and the color d4 i'm just gonna put that all over my face but yeah it's just like i don't know i guess i feel like it's unauthentic when it comes to people trying to grab followers like people wanting followers and like just doing whatever just to get followers like i don't know and that's just also goes hand in hand to me as in I never really thought that I would be like popping online or you know have a lot of followers online I never really wanted that to be me like I never really been that type of person to be in the spotlight I was always someone that was behind the scenes quiet it's like I wasn't shy I was just to myself you know so 
I don't know, I guess this just goes hand in hand to why I feel like it's just doing too much when people just do extra just to, you know, try to get followers and it's just like, it just doesn't make sense to me. So first I want to talk about on Twitter now how um, people are doing these, um, well not people, but more so girls that have a K next to their follower count are doing Twitter decks. Now, if you haven't heard of Twitter decks, a Twitter deck is basically what girls do on Twitter. They, you know, DM girls that have huge followings or like big followings or at least have like a K next to their following count and they recruit them to be a part of their Twitter deck. And in that Twitter deck, it will have different girls that have, you know, a large following or, you know, K next to their follower account. And they would just, I guess, communicate with each other and be like, oh, yeah, you know, everyone retweet this picture today or, you know, like favor retweet this picture today, you know, things like that. So it's just a little odd to me. I don't know why that... I, it's just a little odd to me and it's like a lot of girls ask me to be a part of their Twitter deck and I just like most of the time I just don't reply but sometimes I do reply and just say no because I just don't think that's like authentic it's like y'all just and it's like I feel like it'd be different if it's like they're picking girls that don't have like followers period you know that are just starting out and have like zero followers or like a hundred followers but it's like y'all popping already and it's like y'all just want to get more popping y'all just want to get more popping and just you know <laughs> make each other popping it's just like i don't know like i'm all for like girls supporting girls but it's like support all girls like don't just support don't just support girls that are like popping too. Like show love to every girl. Don't just show love to the girls that is going to benefit for you. You know, like oh yeah, she's pretty and has a lot of followers. So let me put her in my Twitter deck. Like show love to girls that are like business owners that don't that may not have a lot of following. You know, and things like that. Like. They're just showing love, like, to other pretty girls that already have followers. Like, it just doesn't make sense to me. And it's just, like, I don't know, it's just kind of shallow to me in a way. Like, that's just how I feel. Like, I'm sorry if you're watching this and you are actually in, like, participating in that type of stuff. Like, that's just my opinion. I'm sorry. That's just my opinion. And now I'm going to be highlighting my face with... The LA Girl Pro Concealer in Medium Beige. Now, I was using Creamy Beige, but it's too light. <laughs> Way too light. So, Medium Beige is like the just right color for me. But yeah, like, anyway, back to the, like the whole Twitter deck stuff. But it's like, you can, if you, you can definitely tell who's in a Twitter deck. And it's crazy because after I actually found out what a Twitter, a Twitter deck was and you know, why people were asking me to do it. It's like, I noticed, you know, the same girls retweeting each other the whole time, like, on my timeline and stuff. And it's just like, y'all in that Twitter deck stuff. And it's just like, they'll retweet the same pictures over and over. And I'm just like, bruh, like, are y'all are y'all that? Y'all really want followers and retweets and favorites that bad? Like bro just post a picture and if it does well then it does well if it don't if it flop then i don't know delete it if it matter if like if having like retweets and favorites matter that much to you then just delete the picture like it'd be the same girls retweeting each other and it'd be the same picture sometimes it'd be the same exact picture like all the time or sometimes it'll be like of course newer pictures depending on if they like get a lot of favorites and retweets already but it's like bruh like come on now no one wants to keep seeing the same picture like i know i've had to unfollow a few girls because it's like i noticed that they were in the twitter deck 
Now it's not because I noticed that they were in a Twitter deck, but I just noticed like y'all kept retweeting the same girls over and over. And I'm just like, like, bruh, like, I don't even mind seeing the same girls over and over, but it's like the same exact pictures though. Like, come on now. Come on. Like, I couldn't, I cannot. And it's like, I'm going to keep it real with y'all. Like, I know there's probably a lot of girls that do this. And a lot of girls that are probably going to watch this and be like, like, okay, like, I'm really not trying to throw no shade or anything. It's just like, it really is just like, what's the point? Like, and then it's like, I now notice that on Instagram, girls are starting to do, and it's, oh, and it's girls. It's just girls. Like, I never see guys do this type of stuff, but it's like, it's always girls. And it's like, I'm starting to see girls do shout outs again on Instagram. And it's like. I've had two Instagrams in my whole little Instagram career. And on those, like, on my first Instagram, I had a lot of followers. Never asked for no shout outs then. And then when I got my new Instagram, I literally started from scratch because I had to delete my old one because when I had my old one, I was in high school and I had gotten in trouble with my mom. So my mom's like, delete your Instagram, stuff like that. I was so mad because I had, so, like, I had like, I had like 10K at the time and back then it was just like having 10k was like having a million so i was so mad so i had to delete that and then i had to start from scratch so this is like this is my second instagram didn't ask for no shout outs or anything because it's just like people won't follow you or people won't like not follow you you know like it's not that deep it, like it was never that deep to me and that's another thing a lot of these little like um like bomb black girls or like bombshells like you know like instagrams and twitters that like you know like have that type of name like pretty girls or you know something like that and you know usually and i found this out through a friend of mine who had a lot of well she's not a friend of mine anymore but you know she used to ask these you know, cite these little, um, what they call these little social, like, you know, they're, you know, those social networks, the little bomb black girls, whatever, and things like that. She used to ask them to post her. And I'm just like, people do that. Like people really ask, can you post me since like the account may have like a lot of fall, like a, a lot of followers and things like that. I didn't even know, like, I didn't know that they did stuff like that. Like, the only time, like, those type of sites, like, post me is because, I like, they just post me, not because I ask. Like, I didn't even know that that was a thing until, she, like, she was like, yeah, I, like, you don't do this. I noticed one, she was like, I noticed one site posts you a lot. I thought she, you know, would do it. And I was like, no, I, I never asked, can y'all post me for some, for some followers? Never, never. I'm sorry, never. Like, I just rather that shit come natural. Like, I just rather people come and follow me just because they like, like, they like me, you know, like on Twitter. People like me because of my, tw like, like, you know, you follow me because you like my tweets or you like what I post and things like that. And the same with Instagram, you like my pictures and you like what I post and things like that. Because it's like, I'm not only posting pictures and stuff on Instagram, I always post like, po like, you know, different posts where I'm like writing stuff underneath it and like thoughts and things like that. So it's like, I just rather you want to follow me because you want to, not just because it's in your face constantly, you know, like, okay, this girl's in my face. I might as well follow her. Like follow me because you want to, not just because you're in my face. Like that shit is OC and I just can't stand it. Like at all. Like I cannot, I cannot, like I really cannot. I can't. Like, I just couldn't, like, I just couldn't even believe that, that people, that girls really ask to be on, like, sites like that, like, just mind-blown, like, I'm just like, like, this shit really open, opens you up to, like, the truth behind, like, social media, like, it's not a big deal, but it's just, like, people really do, like, people really, like, do extra and do the most just to get some followers, like, creating a whole little secret society of other, you know, girls that have a lot of following 
to post each other. Like, it's not that deep. Just let, just let that shit come natural, you know? It's really not that deep. Okay, to contour, I am using Chestnut by LA Girl Pro Concealer. But yeah, like, most of the time when people, like, ask me about, like, joining stuff like that, whether it be on Twitter or Instagram or doing, like, oh, yeah, shout out for shout out or, you know, post me because I have a lot of followers and I'll post you because I have a lot of followers and our followers, you know, can, like, I can just get followers from you, get followers from me. It's just, like, I just ignore it most of the time. Nine times, no, not nine times, ten times out of ten, I ignore it. Like, I never, I never was into that. Like, never. I just, I just feel like, like I said, that shit is fake to me. Like, that shit is just straight up fake to me. But like I said, I'm not, I don't know, I'm judging you, but I'm not judging you. Because it's like, at the end of the day, if that's what you want to do, then do it. I'm not telling you not to do it. But... I wouldn't do that shit because that shit just seems unauthentic to me. Like, I, like, like social media seems to be unauthentic enough. So it's like, I don't know, that's just like the icing on the cake for real. It's just the icing on the cake. But anyway, more, let's get more into some more important things i attended the women's march today with my mom and my older sister it was very unbelievable to be honest it was just one point where it's like we had marched all the way up to the white house which that was the destination but we had um yeah this was in washington dc by the way i live in maryland and it was a lot of people and it was crazy because usually if you ever been to Washington DC you can get pretty close to the White House it's like a black gate which is the actual White House gate and you can usually get close to that gate and like take your pictures and things like that but they had that whole thing blocked off like I'm I'm telling y'all that they are really trying to protect this this Trump individual like they're really trying to protect him like, we couldn't even get as close as we usually get to the White House if, you know, Obama was still in office. So, it's like, they really trying to protect this man. But, anyway, we were up as close as we can get to the White House. And it was just a moment where, you know, it was just quiet for a second. Because, of, like, because of course, people were doing, like, their different chants and things like that. But it was just quiet for a second. And then I don't know where someone just says, Black Lives Matter. And starts chanting that. And I was just like, I'm, and then I'm like about to tear up right now. Because it's just like, dang, like, that's love. Like, it's just to see all of those people come together from all types of different walks of life. And it's just like, dang, like, dang, like, it was just it was just powerful just to be there. It was just like, it was just like, wow. I was just like, I was just in shock. Cause like I started crying. I was just like, whoa. Like it was just, un it was literally unbelievable. Like I really couldn't believe the sight and the, um, just the sight and just to hear that period. It's just like, Dang, like, it was just, it was just powerful to me. I have a song back there. I adopted it. I'm not going to lie. I didn't make this song, but I did find it. Um, Because I had, I actually got to the march pretty late, but the march didn't even start on time. So technically I was kind of on time. But by then, of course, you know, some people had went home and things like that. So I adopted a sign that someone left. It's very cute. Yes, I bought it home and everything. But yeah, this is what it says. Not my president. Trump 
urine competent. <laughs> it says urine. It says urine. You're incompetent, like you're incompetent. No, urine, like piss, like piss off, basically. And then the back just says, um, Trump equals disgusting. So whoever made this, hopefully you peep me out or something, because I really love this and I adopted it. So thank you for my new baby. Thank you for my new baby. I am gonna cherish it for the rest of my life. I held that sign up even when my arms was about to fail me because I feel real strong about what's going on in our world. But if you guys follow me on my other social networks, then y'all already know, I don't play. <laughs> I even put together meetups and things like that. <laughs> like, I'm so serious when it comes to just civil rights, period. Like, my mom always calls me Angela Davis. <laughs> it's hilarious. It's funny, but it's a compliment, nonetheless. It's definitely, definitely a compliment. Pretty sure you guys have noticed but I did do my brows off camera I do have a brow tutorial already up on my channel I've been doing my brows the same for like a year now so and I'm using the same product so yeah that's why I didn't do it on here because there's already a tutorial up of it I'll put in the description box if you're interested in that but now I'm just going to set my face with this mac translucent powder i would tell you guys the name of it but the name is scratched off and i don't remember what it is but i'm just going to set my highlight with this set 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 oh yeah i should talk about this while i'm actually applying my translucent powder i really hate baking i used to bake right when i first started doing makeup because it's like when when you're fresh to it and it's like you're just you know doing your makeup just based off of like seeing well me I learned how to do my makeup from YouTube so it's like from seeing like different girls do it and most like when I was learning how to do it mostly everybody was baking at the time so I was baking for a while but then one day I just was like I just look so dusty like I look ashy so it's like I just started setting instead of actually baking. <sighs> yeah, it's definitely in my makeup case. Yep. So right. See, I'm just gonna um set my contour lines with the City Color Matte Bronzer. I use most of the same products that I've been using since the summertime, you know? Okay, so now I'm going to use this blush by MAC called Blunt. It's just like a regular brown blush. So. Like this is supposed to be everyday pop and look, so don't really want to do too much color on my cheeks. Now I'm going to be using the Lashes by Lina Highlight Palette. Um, and lemonade and I'm going to be using the color bikini which is this gold shimmery color no lashes okay so some new lash glue that I got recently that I really really love because it's like as soon as you put it on it's really tacky so it's like you can put it on the lash line and then literally go straight and put it on your eye um, usually I use, this is also by Duo, but when I use the Duo, like, glue that's in, like, a package like this, then usually you have to blow on it and fan it and, like, things like that. But with this glue, this is the Duo Brush On Ad Adhesive with vitamins. I didn't even know it had vitamins in it. I just grabbed it because it was like a, oh yeah, it's easy, you can just dab it on. But... 
not only is it easy that you can just dab it on, but it's really tacky. To finish off our lashes, I'm going to be using this mascara called Showing Out Display Your Lashes. This is really, really good mascara. I stole it from my sister. When I ran out of mascara, so I just went her makeup case and just used this on my natural lashes. And these make your natural lashes pop out. I don't even know the brand though. It just says Showing Out Mascara, Black is Black. So I guess that's the brand. It's called Showing Out, unless the brand is W7. I don't know. I will Google it and I will put it in the description box because this is some popping mascara. Okay, and for my lip, I'm going to be using some Classic Lip Balm Carmax. Yeah, that's right. Everyone always asks me, what lip gloss do you use? Carmax, girl. I use that good old Carmax. Okay, so I hope you guys enjoyed this little mini chat, ch mm, chat, <laughs> mini chit chat slash updated popping everyday look or whatever. I like you. Oh, I like you. Anyway, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed it. Um, I hope you guys try the look. I hope it looks bomb on you as much as it looks bomb on me. And yeah, please like and subscribe. And thank you as always for watching.